People feel weird bringing their own food on like normal airlines sometimes. One time I was sitting next to this lady and halfway through the flight, I swear, she just started eating corn on the cob. <laughs> Very fast. It was just like <laughs> It was like a squirrel who didn't even think about winter at all. I was like, who cares about January? I'll start. <laughs> YOLO. It's like her face is a typewriter and she was trying to get out a Dickens novel, which is <laughs> Was the best of times, dude. <laughs> I don't even know how she thought to bring it on the plane. Right? She's just at home, looking at her fridge. She's like, <sighs> that corn's not gonna be good. <laughs> By the time I get home, it's not gonna be. <laughs> I could bring it. <laughs> yeah. I gotta eat it in front of everybody though. I don't, I'll be like, oh. They'll be like, do you want coffee? Oh, you have corn? Okay. <laughs> but then she tries to hype herself up. Like, who cares what they think? I don't see those people again. I don't eat corn where I want to eat. Corn is delicious corn. Someone looks at me weird. I'm like, what are you eating? Pretzels? What's in there? Corn syrup? You're welcome from my corn. And then she gets on the plane, takes out that corn, and is like, oh, I care what they think a lot. <laughs> Here's some advice. If you ever feel like you're doing something weird in public, don't do it faster. <laughs> it's a lot scarier, faster. If she had just eaten that corn like a normal person, I might not have even noticed. Like, at most, I would have just been like, hmm. <laughs> What a confident corn lover. <laughs> Excuse me, are you from Des Moines? Are you from the island? <laughs> she starts eating it quickly, I'm gonna keep a good distance because I don't know how much she brought with her and I don't want to fall asleep and wake up with my finger caught in her chipper. <laughs> There's a lot of rules when you fly. You don't even know all the rules. Like, one time I was flying out of Mexico and I had a baseball in my backpack and they took it away. And I was like, why? And they're like, this could be used as a weapon. <laughs> oh, wow. That, that's how good Latin Americans are at baseball. All over the United States, you can fly with a baseball. And in Mexico, like, we got a 13-year-old that can throw that through the cockpit tour, no problem. <laughs> Probably through the windshield and take out another airplane, so. <laughs> Sometimes it's not a rule, and they try to make you feel like it is. Like, I had a carry-on bag one time in the flight attendant. I was like, we're going to check that bag for you. And I was like, oh, can I go see if there's room first? Like, so I can carry it on. <laughs> and the flight attendant was like, yeah, uh, you can't, but we're already 15 minutes late. And if you don't find a place for your bag, you're gonna make all these people even more late for wherever they're going to. And I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna try to guilt trip me? Really? I've been in the same relationship for six years. There's no room in my heart for the guilt of strangers. That space is leased out for loved ones.